Do you ever just sit back and watch the way people act and react, respond, and then try to decide how they're going to one-up what is going on? I watch a lot of reality TV for the same thing. I, I just love studying human behavior. But the question is, what am I going to do with it? Well, one of the things that I do with it is that we come here and we talk about it, how we can act and react and respond in a better way when we step out into the real world. It's almost like that person had to go through that mess in order to get to our place so that we don't find ourselves in the same situation. But being a silent wolf and stepping back to just watch what is going on, especially these days where everybody thinks they're entitled to be whoever they want to be at any time they want to be. One of the things we have to be is we've got to be present and we've got to watch our P's and Q's. That's something my mother used to say. Well, you better watch your P's and Q's. I'm not going to be the one that's going to bail your ass out. Hey, it's Arrow. This is the Daily Mass, a chronological walkthrough in everyday world. I am a daily writer, that silent wolf, sitting back and watching, listening, studying, wondering how we can incorporate this into a better place of planning. This is the Daily Mess. While lecturing last night, a person in attendance took note of a digital podcast platform that clearly stated that if you are somebody who is going to challenge the existence of COVID-19, cancer, or any other disease, that this platform has every right to take you down. How many people actually read these agreements? We just click it and we're on, right? I agree, but we don't read it. But he chose to read it, and he had a lot of questions inside his head and heart. Well, what do you mean I can't talk about the existence of COVID-19, cancer, or any other proven diseases? He says, what happens if that's my subject, that I'm, I'm taking on somebody who wants to take me on? Does that mean that I won't have a platform? Yeah, it could lead to that. It really can. That's like you can't put music up on this platform because you're not paying royalty fees, but people do, and then they either get sued or they get taken off. That happened to me on SoundCloud. I, I was a very innocent person. I thought, even though I'm talking to the rock stars themselves and I'm putting their brand new album, which we were talking about in that conversation, that I was okay to put music up there. Absolutely 100% wrong. And so SoundCloud took me down and I've never been back. If you attempt to say otherwise on different things that they say that you cannot do on the platform, then you have to face that wall and that challenge. I mean, I come from the world of radio. I know what we could and couldn't say. iHeartRadio always said, if in doubt, leave it out. And to this day, even when I work at the essential job, I go by that rule. If in doubt, leave it out. See, listeners don't understand the formatics of building a platform because the power of the word is so big. It's a weapon. It can be comforting, but it can also be very damaging. And what we say, even on our social media outlets from Instagram to TikTok to Facebook to Twitter or X, what we're saying has the power to change somebody else's life. And there are many of these platforms that say, hey, Freedom of speech. Say what you want. Do as you want. But that's not the way that we should be. We should actually be helping people lead in a better way and hopefully reach for a positive side. But there's a lot of negative going on. No matter what platform you're playing on, remember that you're always a guest. When you go into a restaurant and you sit at that table, you are a guest. You're not a privileged person. You are a guest of the person that owns that particular business. When you walk into a bookstore or you're in school and the teacher is trying to put something inside your head and heart, you are a guest. That doesn't mean you own the room. You're a guest. And that's what we've got to somehow, some way get back to. We don't need to be dominating the conversation with things that we believe in. We are to be learning from everything that we bump into. A guest. And that's how I feel about waking up every morning. I have been blessed with the opportunity to be a guest on this day in history. I'm Arrow, and that's the Daily Mess.